Okay, so I did create a derived a derived set uh, for a UDL, right? Because if we uh, here, I think uh, okay. So if you see what I did here is I for the boolean, although it's a boolean attribute, we're using IO auto assignment, and um, the the naming scheme picks up the object name first, right? So when when you go uh, to runtime, it doesn't see the delimiter, right? So the delimiter at that point is too late. Okay, so we need to use a different mechanism for sweet link to be able to recognize this as a boolean. And one of them is the the last part of the dot field, the dot zero one. So if you put a dot followed by uh, a bit field, it'll it'll assume it's a boolean, right? So you notice that in my naming scheme, I did that. Zero one, dot zero one, dot zero two. So this is bit one. This is this is going to be a unique bit in the in the uh, 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 for each object. Okay. Then moving to the floats, the problem is the same because again, in I/O auto assignment, if you go to runtime, it'll pick up. If we look in in uh, in object viewer, actually, let me bring up object viewer here. You'll see, you'll see what I mean by that. If you look here, uh, actually, if we look at the SMC better. Okay, you notice that the item name is the object name dot something, but the object names doesn't start with I for integer, B or D for Boolean and F for float. It starts with something else. So by default, if we don't have any rules, any naming rules, it will always be an integer. If it doesn't recognize it, the simulator says, ah, oh, I don't recognize what it is, it's an integer. So what we did is to, to characterize it as a Boolean, we added the dot uh, numeric. For the float, we added the dot F. And for the integer, we don't care, literally. Okay, so that is stored. If we go to program data, Wonder where OI server. By the way, program data is a hidden folder, so you have to hide it. That OI sim. Okay, so uh, it I believe it's um, although we have multi instance, it's in the it's in the base instance. So I have backed up the original tax syntax. Is this folder? Is this file? Tax syntax. If we open it with Notepad, now you'll see that there's a structure to it. Okay. Uh, and here on the top, everything that is a whack whack is a comment to the file. Okay, so here, uh, for example, this is the explanation of the rule for the following line. So assign a Boolean to any tag that ends with a dot followed by a number. So this is exactly what we are using for that rule for Boolean. Okay, the next rule Ooh. is assign a float to any tag that ends with a dot followed by an F. And so these quirky characters is internally what the OI sim uses uh, when it recognizes something, you know, basically this is the wild card followed by a dot and then a F, uh, lowercase f or uh, uppercase f, then it'll treat it as a real and so on and so forth. So you can see how the rules work. And some of these ones are built in into the uh, sim file, but if you want to create more rules like this, then you can see that there's some Modbus rules here and some other type of rules that uh, have been created. Okay, so that's what we have done to make that work. <laughs>